Our last rider of the day and in his first year of A-Class is 16-year-old Michael Lee from Hexham in Northumberland. He's riding an MRS Sherco 250, same size engine as the other riders today, so there's no advantage there. Very best of luck to you now. You've seen the others have a go at the course. Maybe that's an advantage, maybe it isn't. Start your bike. And I'll hand you over to Jane to start you off. Now here he goes. Called it the Durham Mafia earlier. It's the Tyneside Mafia, really. But that, oh, he's got a dab. Balance and up. Now. Can he hold it? He is doing no forward movement. Terrific. Just holding the balance. He's done it. Just the one penalty. Now over the stepping stones. This section doesn't seem to cause too much trouble, but the initial balance does. Michael's a member of Seton Delaval Motor Club. Beautiful spot that. Halfway between Newcastle and the coast. Now I'm not sure he's got this into the best position, but he should be able to kick forward to there. Holding for his five seconds, no feet down, he's still balanced. I think he's got one, I think he's got two. I made that two, but uh, we'll have to check. Just a little unfortunate, he was almost in position to get off the top. Now, can he hold this? He did. No, and another one. Now, the judges tell me that... It was just two penalties on the last section. Can he clean this? It's normally been cleaned in the dry. Causes problems when it's wet because it gets a wee bit slippery. But his balance is good there. Nicely in place. Can he move it off? He can. Yes, he's cleaned that. Again, just this last section to go through and take him at speed. And that's a good finish. Nicely through there. Michael Lee, very good uh, on time. Not quite as good as our, as our first rider, Kirk. Uh, what was it, Janie? We've got three penalty points in total. Yeah, we had a little bit of difficulty spotting whether or not there was a penalty with the right foot on top of the logs there. Let's take a look and see if we can determine it definitely. Well, that wasn't a bad run from Michael. One point picked up getting his bike onto the rocks for the hold and a bit of a tricky pull off from the logs as the bike spun round a bit. Another point picked up there and the bike landing on his ankle on the way down. That must have hurt. You sort of sense Michael started showing off in the later parts of the course. A gear change on the hold on the tyres and look at that jump off. Young Michael here's got a time of 137 and just three penalty points which puts him in second place. Are you happy with that? Uh, not really, no. <laughs> but on, that, on the first section when I dabbed I thought I would go for a quick time. But I went a little bit too quick really and ended up getting the other two points. So um, what happened on the sump there? Because it looked like your bike was actually spinning round and, and facing the wrong way at one point. Well, it was all right when I was bouncing on top and then when I tried to rock it off, uh, it just spun round and I had to dab to bring it back round and to push it off again. And I must admit, I was a little surprised when you had trouble on the, on the long log on the floor. That was just because I was rushing so much yeah. to get round uh, to make up for the points I'd lost. 